Hey guys, EVP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at another scooter that just made it to the channel. This is the 9Bot by Segway, and it's model ES2. Let's go ahead and check it out. So guys, this is the second scooter that we're looking at the channel, and this is an upgraded version from the ES1. Uh, just to give you a sense of some of the specs that we have here, this is a scooter that's capable of having a maximum speed of 15.5 miles per hour, which is a decent upgrade from the previous version, which is just barely 12.4. Uh, it is lightweight, it's foldable, and the other thing that I find that is great about this scooter is that it has solid tires front and back. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now scooters are becoming incredibly popular. You're seeing them as rentable devices that you can get in a lot of cities. Uh, they're portable and they're easy to ride. Now this scooter in particular it weighs 28 pounds. It is software upgradable so it has the ability to upgrade and it connects to your phone via Bluetooth. In addition to it being software upgradable, one of the things that's neat about this scooter is that you could expand the capacity of this scooter simply by adding or attaching a battery. Now we are going to be getting one of those batteries in so make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon so that you can learn more about what are the benefits of having the extended battery. Because the battery goes much more than just extending the battery life, it actually improves the overall performance and we're going to prove that in our videos. Now as we talk about the overall speed, we talked about 15.5 miles per hour. It also has a range of 15 miles. So you're going to be able to cruise at 15.5, but then also have a distance of 15 miles. Now the neat thing about this scooter is not only the, that it's lightweight, that it's rechargeable, but it's also the fact that it has a lot of cool LED lights. So when we turn the scooter on, you're going to notice that there's some LEDs that come here at the very bottom, and you're also going to notice some LED lighting here. Now, traditional scooters, you do have a brake light, uh, something that lights up in the back when you press the brakes. But again, this scooter has configurable LED lights that you'll be able to see and personalize to your favorite colors. Now, this scooter is a little bit different when it comes to the braking mechanism. It does have both the throttle and the brake, but the braking system for this scooter is not externalized like the Xiaomi uh, my scooter that we reviewed on the channel. No external cables, no external disc system, everything is internalized and by pressing this button you'll engage the braking system. Now it does have the ability for you to use your back foot to press down on the back to slow down the, the scooter as well but this is probably going to be one of the preferred methods to slowing down the scooter. It also has a Bluetooth uh, connectable uh, the display and you can see here in the LED that it's going to give you battery as well as speed and it gives you the ability to switch between two modes. A standard mode which is going to be a little bit slower but it's going to give you a longer battery life and range and then you also have a sport mode. Um, in addition to that you do have your throttle here which also includes cruise control so you can go at a specific speed hold it at that speed and the scooter will retain that speed for the duration of that ride until you press the brake or press the, uh, the, ex the accelerator one more time. Now I do have here this is a a phone mount that is not included but it gives you a sense of what you can do to accessorize your scooter. Now you do have your charging port here uh, and you can cover that up nicely. Uh, this area here you remove these components and we'll see that shortly uh, once we get that battery but this is where you would attach the battery. This is a little bit different from the uh, the Xiaomi scooter that we re reviewed a couple weeks ago. The battery itself is in the column so that's why it's a little bit thicker and taller than the Xiaomi and it's not in the base as we saw with the Xiaomi scooter. Uh, so all the weight is here as well as all the battery and all the charging components takes place in this area as opposed to in the base. Now the board itself has this non-skit surface, it's rubberized, it makes it really easy for you to keep uh, your feet on the actual board itself. The tires as we mentioned are solids tires so you don't have to worry about flats. We've seen a lot of reviews and comments on either YouTube or on Reddit how the Xiaomi scooter tends to get flats real easy so a lot of people are converting them to the solid tires like this one has. This does have a shocking system that helps because it is a solid tire uh, with all of the bumps uh, but most of these uh, scooters do uh, have a I would say a very rigid ride to them. I haven't really experienced yet one that has a very smooth car like ride but they're still very fun all in all. Uh, simply by pushing this lever down the scooter will collapse in itself so you can take it on the bus on the train or wherever you're going. 
Now while the range is a 15.5, the battery is not that powerful. You're looking at 187 watt hours. That's why that extended battery is something that you'll want to opt into if you're looking to purchase this scooter. All right, for those of you who are curious as to what the bottom of the, this uh, uh, scooter looks like, uh, you'll notice here it has a back shock absorber that's going to help again dampen the shock because again these are solid tires and then that's accompanied by the one that's up here in front is going to give you a better ride now the board itself where you're riding is very thin because again it has no batteries in its place it does have a kickstand right here that comes out that makes it really easy to keep your scooter standing up now what we see here is the breathing that's taking place at the very bottom. You can also turn on the rear lights so you can see how you can uh, flip those on right there. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Uh, you have other modes. You have full color breathing. So we choose full color breathing. It's going to cycle through so you can see how it's going through all the different colors. You could do two color alternates. So you can see that effect right there. It's also pretty cool. And you got full color apart. So again, some cool effects, especially if you're driving at night and just want to show off your scooter. All right, guys, so a couple things to note. Uh, we do have an extended battery here on the ES2. You'll notice on the dash display of the Segway 9Bot app that I have two batteries, not quite fully charged because I've been driving it over uh, the last day or so. And you'll notice that one of them is set at 94% and the other one is set at a 90%. So uh, both batteries are there, but one of the things that's significant is looking at the mileage or the range, 26.4 uh, miles with these two batteries. At 100%, both batteries, I'm seeing the range at 27. So it's 27 miles. A couple other things that I've noticed is that, and you'll see this as we start driving the bike, or the scooter in this case, that the speed of 15 miles has bumped up to almost 19.7 to close to 20 miles per hour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick off and we're gonna check out uh, you know, how it maneuvers as well as the overall speed that we can pick up now having the extra battery. So let's go ahead and check that out. We're gonna just kick off. All right guys, so as you can see, cruising right now at 11.6 miles, really nice experience. If I speed this up, we're gonna go up and see what the fastest speed we can get on the scooter is and it really kicks so I gotta make sure I have both hands on here because I've been able to get up to speeds up to 19.6 miles let's see if we can do that right here speeding up yep there it goes 19.7 19.8 pretty sweet that of course is with the extra battery so overall, I will say that the ride, my ride experience is pretty good. Um, I've been noticing that even though it has solid tires, the shock system does a pretty decent job of keeping things smooth. So no issues with major bumps. You will hear if you go over something, a clack. And it's kind of alarming at first because you think you broke something, but it's the actual shock absorber itself the springs themselves taking into account that impact. Uh, the nice thing about this compared to the Xiaomi is the fact that you don't have to worry about a flat tire. And I'll tell you, I've already had flats on my bikes before and I'm kind of really frightened of driving anywhere that's on a street where there may be um, some broken glass, uh, just anything that could impact the tires themselves. So having the confidence that these are solid tires and that nothing's going to happen just improves the overall experience. So guys, that concludes our review of the 9Bot scooter from Segway. And this is the ES2. This is one of the best scooters that I've tested to date. Love the ride, love the speed. And I'll tell you, if you're considering this scooter, the extended battery is a must have. It boosts the battery life, boosts the speed, and it just makes this scooter so much more fun to ride. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave comments in the comment area, and I'll see you in the next one.